Hi, I don't want to use the time, so let's get straight into it. Streaming your PlayStation 5 over to your Steam Deck. You are going to need, at the very minimum, a PlayStation 5 hooked to a TV, uh, and a Steam Deck, also the. Optionally, it would be beneficial if you had the keyboard and mouse attached to your Steam Deck, or you could do the steps which require typing, not on the Steam Deck, but on a separate computer or device altogether. I will point out in the video when those steps arrive. So, let's get started. Before anything else, make sure your PlayStation 5 is turned on and connected to the internet, and it should remain that way for the duration of this procedure. To check if it is connected to the internet, all you have to do is turn on a PlayStation and see if you can access the PlayStation Store. Go on your Steam Deck, press the Steam button, go down to Power, and switch to Desktop Mode. Once your Steam Deck has rebooted into desktop mode, open the Discovery app. It should be the third icon on the bottom bar. And in the search bar within the Discovery app, type C-H-I-A-K-I and then hit enter. After it searches for a bit, it should be the only app hit install on it. If you do not have a keyboard attached to your Steam Deck, what you can do is you can press the Steam button and the X button at the same time. And that will bring up the keyboard. And then you can just type on the keyboard normally. And when you're done, press this bottom right corner button to dismiss the keyboard and that's pretty much it once check is installed go to the bottom left corner for the first icon which is kind of like the steam deck start menu go over to games and you will see chiaki in there in the menu just hit it and after it boots up for a second it should detect your playstation as long as it's on the same network as the steam deck if they are not please make sure to put your playstation and the, your steam deck on the same network if you do not know what that means Usually it means just put them on the same Wi-Fi network. You will see that it appears as unregistered. What you'll need to do is to tap it repeatedly until this window appears. I don't know why it needs to be tapped multiple times, it must be a bug. And in this window, you'll need just two things, the PSN account ID in Base64 and the PIN. Let's start with the PSN account ID because that's the easiest. So this one you can do either on your phone or on your computer or directly on the Steam Deck. I'm gonna do it on the Steam Deck, just open up Firefox. That's usually the default browser, it should be the fifth icon in the start bar. And then in the address bar, type bit.ly slash get PS5 ID and hit enter. This basically redirects you to a little application that helps you get your ID. Um, it's written on Python by somebody, I'm gonna put their name down here so that could credit them because they put in a lot of work into this. You basically follow the instructions on screen. You take the URL that appeared, copy it, the whole thing, and you paste it into a new tab and hit enter. This will redirect you to the Sony website where it will ask you to log in. Do not worry, this is the genuine Sony website. Your information is not getting sent to anybody else. All that's happening is that script is using something from the Sony website to basically be able to generate that ID afterwards but your personal information is not getting sent to the, anybody else apart from Sony. Once you've logged in, it will you will be sent to this page that just says redirect on it. That is actually the correct page. What you need to do here is copy the URL from the URL bar, which is different from what you pasted in earlier, and you take it back to the original tab, paste it in and hit enter. Sometimes, for some reason, this little script freezes. So all you need to do is refresh the page, paste the URL in again and hit enter again. And now you can see at the bottom your the, the bit the section that says this is your account ID. That's exactly what you need. All those symbols that come after this is your account ID. You copy that information across into Chiaki, and then you're gonna need your pin. To get your pin, you need to do these next steps on the PlayStation directly. So with your PlayStation turned on, go over to the settings menu, go down to system, then go to remote play. If enable remote play is not turned on, turn it on, because otherwise this is not going to work. And then go down to link device and open that up. And it will give you a eight digit code. That's the code you need to type into the second part of Chiaki. So go ahead and make a note of that code. Go back to your Steam Deck and start typing in that code. Once you've typed in the last number, you will see that the register button has appeared and is active now. So all you have to do is click register. And it should say that the console PS5 whatever with ID whatever has been successfully registered. Click OK. And now to try it out for the first time, just multiple tap the icon of the PlayStation on the screen. And that should automatically connect to your PlayStation instantly, wherever you left it. 
Okay, this works. Now close, disconnect the session, but do not put your console into sleep mode yet because it's not configured fully yet. The next step is to add Chiaki to your Steam library as a game that will allow you to launch it from game mode, not just from desktop mode. So just open up Steam, go to library and then go to games and then add a non-Steam game. And then Chiaki should be in the list already. You just have to click, tick the box next to it and then add selected program. Find it in the Steam list to make sure it's there. And it is. What I like to do is I like to rename it to play PS5 Remote Play because it's more intuitive than Shiaki. So I just right click it properties and then just rename it to PS5 Remote Play. You can do a lot of stuff in here like change the icon, add all sorts of pictures so it looks nice. I'm not bothered by that usually so I just leave them as default. Double check it by typing in PS5 into your search bar to see if it's actually there is return to gaming mode by double clicking the icon on the desktop. Once in gaming mode, go to library, go to non steam games. And in there, you should see PS5 remote play. If you tap it and then click play, it will launch that window from before. So now if you start rapidly tapping the PlayStation icon, eventually you will, it will start the remote session. It's a bug. There's nothing we can do about it. And voila, you're now on your PlayStation, ready to play whatever it is you want. And you're basically done now. There are a few optional steps though that I would recommend to make the experience a bit better. First of all is basically enabling, enabling Wake on LAN for the PlayStation. What that means is if your PlayStation's in standby mode, you can turn it on directly from the Steam Deck so you don't have to like go physically next to it, turn it on and then start remote playing. To do that, all you have to do is go to your settings section in your PlayStation, go down to system, go to power saving, go to features available in rest mode, and make sure to turn on stay connected to the internet and enable turning on PlayStation 5 from network. This will allow it to be turned on from the Steam Deck over the internet. And this is basically what it looked like when you're turning it on from sleep mode. You see that it's basically orange in the Chiaki app. Um, it will ask you if you want to send it the packet to wake it up. And if you click yes, it will basically immediately turn it on. Once you click OK, nothing will appear in the window for a few seconds as the PlayStation boots up. And once it's booted up, it will appear there in blue as before. And now you can repeatedly tap it until you can get back in. The second little optional step, if you want to do it, and I recommend you do, because otherwise it's a bit annoying to navigate the PlayStation. With the Chiaki app open, it doesn't matter if you're streaming or in the interface select, in the console select menu, it's just the app has to be open. Press the Steam key on the Steam Deck, and then go to controller settings, go to controller settings again, go to edit layout, scroll down to trackpads, and under the trackpads menu, Click the right stick click button. Now go over to keyboard and hit the escape key. What this basically does is it maps the pressing down on your right touchpad on the Steam Deck to the escape key, which in Kiaki maps to the PlayStation button on the PlayStation controller. So when you tap this, it will basically like be, be like touching the PlayStation controller on the PlayStation, so you'll be able to access the home menu all, all the other menus that you need through the PlayStation button. And that's it. Pretty much done. Enjoy your PlayStation experience. If you like the tutorial, please like. Also subscribe if you're feeling so willing. If you didn't like the tutorial, dislike it. And it would be very helpful if you leave, left a comment and saying why you didn't like it, because all this information I use to improve the videos I make. So please go ahead and like it, dislike it, leave comments, etc. And it will only help me improve to make better, better tutorials going forward. Or stroke my ego if you liked it. Thank you very much, and I'll see you next time. Peace.